that's how you envision this offense? Yeah, you know, that was their first game, so again, uh, it's way early, but uh, you know, you got to see we got a lot of firepower, a lot of guys that can score, and, and we just have to keep the mentality that, yeah, we can score, and we're going to score, and we're never going to hit bunches, but we can't take it for granted that we're just not scoring. And that sometimes happens. You get up to 10, 15, and think that's going to last forever, and you lose a little edge on the defensive end. And, and uh, first half of the defense was good, and then we lost a little bit of the edge second half. And they played well. I mean, we're seeing it some threes that kept them, you know, relatively close. So, but I think overall, great effort, good, you know, a lot of good play. Even before Ryan started hitting, the spacing that James had to is that was he taking advantage of that the way you envisioned? Yeah, all of them. It, 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 you know, you've got, I mean, I know James is good, but he, he's really good. <laughs> I could get used to much of that. And then, you know, Eric hasn't even, you know, he's, he's going to score a lot. And he's going to be open. And Ryan's going to be open. And James is going to find him. And we keep doing that. We keep getting, Clint's got to keep getting better and keep getting more dynamic on his roles and create opportunities to, for our three point shooters. And, you know, Trevor, I mean, just go right down the list, all of them can shoot. And every time they, they light, you know, shoot it up, you think it's going in. And uh, I thought we shot off for the first half. We shot 39, 40%, 38.9 or whatever. So it's, I expect all of them to go in. As everything settles in, do you still think James will have the opportunity to get to the basket and get free throws as much as he has in the past based on what you guys are doing now? Yeah, I don't think he'll worry too much about what he's going to do. Now, yeah, then, you know, he'll do what he wants to do. Because he's, he's that good. He dictates pretty much offensively. He just reads it. I think the only pitfall is going down because he is the point guard. He's taking responsibility, getting everybody ready. And it takes a while. You don't want to take that away from his game at the same time. He wants to get everybody involved. So it's great. It's a good problem to have. Um, and he's doing a great job at it right now. And we'll see how it goes. But he, he's, he's ridiculous. Coach, I, I know it's only to start in the, in the second half. I did it the first game. I just think that um, I want to look at both of them. I don't know who will start or who doesn't. It doesn't really matter. They're going to split time. And um, you can make a case for either one of them. So we'll just see how it works and uh, see how it looks and see how it goes. Has anyone stood out about one guy with one group getting there together? Not really. Uh, just Nene's playing really well. And so you, know, you bring him off the bench and he can go against the second liners or is it better for Clint? Just someone we'll to work on. There's no formula. We, I don't know yet. And I expect both of them to play really well. I know it's only uh, two preseason games in, but are you a little bit worried about the way Capel is starting, starting off the games? No, not really. Um, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll get into it. He's still finding it. You know, you go from a guy who hardly ever plays and, and spot minutes and to a starter and we're counting on him. It's a big jump for him. And so we'll have to ease into it. He, he'll get there. He's a great kid. He works hard. He'll get there. We'll get there. Beverly's not going to China. A little concerned about that? Yeah, a little bit concerned about him? No. Yeah. No, it, uh, I mean, obviously, we don't know everything, and it'll calm down. He'll be fine. If not fine, next week, we can have him right back next week. Pat is going to be, he'll be ready to go, whatever he has to do. And, and uh, yeah, you know, not going to China. I think he hates it more than, than, uh, than what else. How are you liking James and Eric together? Great. Yeah, that I mean, is a good, good combination, and and both of them get after it on defense. James defense is, is good, and, and Eric is strong and, and can play some D. So, yeah, it's good. But you could have said throw out a lot of names, and I liked them. We saw Eric attack a little about the dribble tonight. Do you think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for him to do through the course of the season? What's that? Gordon attacking off the dribble. Gordon, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, there's a there's a highway in there that. Uh, that they have to match up, and you know that coach has got to figure out who to put on James, who to put on uh, Brown, and who to put on Aaron. You know, it's and they'll be they'll, they'll figure it out to a certain extent, but um, uh, we just have to keep improving, doing what we're doing, and, and get better at it. Has, has KJ surprised you at all? Yeah, I think so. From July, from the summer league, yeah, very much so. Playing a lot better. Uh, he, he's got a he's got. A, he can play. He's got a ceiling that he hasn't even come close to. And so, yeah, I'm excited about the way he can make some progress. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank guys. You. All right.